Hey guys, so a lot of the tutorials in this are like really bad and confusing, and it's actually very simple. So to achieve audio splitting in OBS or Streamlabs OBS, or say you just want your mic on one track and then all your computer desktop audio on another track, it's very simple. You don't have to use application audio capture beta. You can if you want, like to Discord and then Chrome and then your game, but you have to set up every single source to a track and it gives you a lot of control. But say that you just want, you don't want to have to add every single source. You just want your mic on one track and then all the other sounds on another track. It's very easy to do. Um, so I will show you here in the Streamlabs settings, make sure that you're updated or uh, have a version that even supports it. But if, you know, I think it updates whenever you launch it, I'm on 1.16. Um, so in your output settings, you need to be set to advanced. It will not let you do this if you aren't set to advanced. But anyway, in your recording, you want to make sure that you have multiple tracks enabled. You can't assign, say, your, your mic to track two if track two is not enabled, right? So make sure that we, like for my example, I have track one and track two enabled. And then just in here, I upped the quality. Track one and track two have a higher quality. Um, it's not going to not function if you don't do this, but you might as well up the quality while you're in here. Um, but yeah, you're going to enable track one and track two. Pretty easy. And then go into your mixer properties. You can either click this little wheel right here, or you can also click one of your devices down here for your audio and then just go to properties. It'll bring it all up the same. Um, so for me, I have my desktop audio and I set the device that I explicitly want to use. Stream track doesn't matter, um, but recording track. This is going to be track one, right? And then on my microphone input, I have my microphone device set. Um, and then my microphone's down mixed, but that's not important for you. Uh, and then track two is set here. And make sure that track one is unselected. It's not selected right here. So track one for my desktop audio, track two for my microphone, right? And so let me show you an example. So I just went right before I recorded this onto a, um, into Modern Warfare 3. And I just, uh, so well, a lot of people think this doesn't work right off the bat, but it actually does. So I'm going to open this file. This is not the right one. So I opened this file in Modern for 3, right? And at first glance, a lot of people see this and they, and they think it doesn't work. Uh, because VLC, let me compare it. Like if you have a DVD, right? And that DVD, or it's like a movie, it may support multiple languages. So like a copy of your disc can have the English audio. And then on the menu, you can select if you want to listen to it in Spanish or French. So a lot of people think this doesn't work. Um, but if I actually right click and we go to audio and go to audio track, we can actually see that there are two tracks here. And so the way that it works is your media player probably is only playing one track uh, at a time. But if I open this very same file in my video editor, you will see that it actually works perfectly as intended. So we're going to bring it down into here and you will see we have our video track here at the top. We have our um, first track and then we have our second track. So let's see what happens. Bananas, dolphins, purple, seven, microphone, you hear blah, that? blah, so blah. So we have the, the audio from the game as well as our microphone sounds. But open in VLC and you just have track one, which is our speakers. So it really is that simple. Um, yeah, you're essentially, again, just going to make sure that you're in, out, you're in advanced output mode. You have both tracks enabled. And then in your properties, uh, track one is going to be whatever like default thing that plays, um, and then track two. So track one, track two. If you assign this microphone into track one and two, then you're you're going to lose that control that you want. Whereas in Vegas now, I can say if my if my game is too loud or whatever, bananas, dolphins, purple. I can turn seven, the game down. Microphone, blah blah. Or I can blah. just turn my microphone down, right? And then you can output this as expected. So yeah, hopefully that clears it up. It's actually very simple. You don't need to do the um, the audio application, audio capture beta, unless you truly want to. Another thing that I also wanted to add was say that we take um, the video that we had where it was just playing this first track, even though both tracks are present. If you upload that to YouTube, which I've done right here, it does the exact same thing, right? It only plays that one track. But let me show you. Um, so we have it all here in Vegas, right? We have both of our tracks, and they are both playing properly. Bananas. So if we render this file out, we don't even have to do any work to it. If we just render it out, 
right? Now we can go into VLC. And look, bananas, dolphins, purple, seven, microphone, now, blah, blah, blah. All of these audio tracks mixed into one. So essentially, you can set it up in Streamlabs. You just need to uh, import it into some type of editor, like Vegas, for example, where it supports multiple audio tracks. And then just render out the, the file, and then you can upload it or do whatever you want with it.